Hello and welcome back to the new video of the Java tutorial series. So today we will be covering method overloading in Java. So what is method overloading? If a class has a multiple methods having the same name but there are different differ in parameters. Okay, then it is known as method overloading. If the two methods are there, which uh, names are same for example sum is the name of the me two methods but so the so how we can differ the two methods okay so when the parameter one if the one method is accepting two two parameters and another one is accepting one or either more than two not not exactly two then it is a type of a method overloading in java okay where the same name method have the same name but they differ in the parameters they are accepting okay so if we have to perform only one operation having the same name or the methods increase the readability of the program okay suppose you have to perform a addition of the two given numbers but there can be any any number of the arguments okay if if you write the same method such as int a uh, int uh, method name is a and it is accepting two parameters of type integer integer okay for the two parameters and another one is int b which is accepting as a three parameter int 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 okay for three parameters then it it may be difficult for you as well as the other programmers to understand the behavior of the method because it it has this it has the same name differs okay so we perform the method overloading to figure out the program quickly okay and what are the advantages of the method overloading method overloading increase the readability of the program okay and so let's just talk about the different ways to over overload a method okay so there are two methods uh, by which you can overload the method method overloading by changing the number of the arguments uh, the method is accepting and the method overloading by changing the data type of the argument which is accepting okay so let me just quickly go into my ide we'll cover this popular question also uh, but but let first we will code see one uh, example of the method overloading then we will see some popular method uh, questions sorry okay method overloading okay let me increase the font size and first we will see uh, example of the method overloading by changing the number of the arguments okay let me copy this and i will uh, give it a comment okay and now okay so let me take one example okay uh, what I can do is I will declare one method name as int add and it is accepting the two parameter let's suppose int a and int b okay and inside this I'm simply uh, returning a plus b Not, nothing else okay and i will introduce one more method which is inside this same class which is static int add same name of the method here you can see add is the method name and here also add is the method name but what i get, what i will do is i will change the number of the parameters it are accepting okay now int a comma int b comma int c and i will simply return a plus b plus sorry c fine okay i will i will return this okay okay so now i will create my main method and inside my main method i will print uh, add of uh, let's suppose 11 comma 11 okay and now again i will print one more statement uh, one second guys okay so i will just print call another method now i am giving 11 comma 11 comma 11 here you can see a uh, method name are same add and add but they are different in the parameters they are accepting one method is accepting the two parameters one another method is accepting the three parameters okay so this is the example of the method overloading changing the number of the arguments we are passing okay and simply i will run this class and you can see 11 plus 11 that is 22 for the first uh, print statement and uh, another print statement 11 plus 11 plus 11 is that is 33 is getting print 
printed on the console okay so another method another way to achieve the method overloading is the change changing the data type of the argument okay so i will just copy this and paste it over here okay so now let me comment this out okay now i will again i will have to declare one int method okay i will copy this and i will paste it over here and let me uncomment it okay one add method is there which is returning uh, addition of the two methods uh, two numbers a and b and one another method is there name as static double add and it it accepts two parameters double a comma double b okay and now it will return the addition of this two numbers okay uh, okay and now i will write my main method and inside my main method i will print call those methods add but I, I have to give 11 comma 11 and for another print statement I will call another add add method but this time I will pass 11.2 uh, comma 11.5 11.5 okay so here you can see uh, two same method same uh, two methods having the same name and same number of parameters they are ac accepting one add method is accepting two two parameters integer a and integer b and another uh, method which is accepting the two parameters that uh, that is a and b but they are differ in the return type they are uh, returning okay the first method is returning uh, in integer and second method is in, uh, returning and double so this is a uh, method a uh, way we can achieve the method overloading by changing the data type of the argument okay argument here in it receive it, it was receiving in the integer format and here it was receiving the double format okay and so now if i run this class i should get the okay uh, 11 plus 11 is 22 and 11.2 plus 11 11.5 is 22.7 so these are the two methods by which you, you can achieve method overloading in java one one is changing the arguments and another one is changing the data type of the argument okay some popular question which is asked frequently uh, during the interview process uh, of method overloading one is why method overloading is not possible by changing the return type of the method only okay so in java method overloading is not possible by changing the return type of the method only because of the ambiguity let's see how the ambiguity may occurs okay so i will take one example uh, let me go let me get into my class I will increase the font size and I, here I will create one same method same example I'm taking and let me print okay and now I will be writing the same double method also okay I will just copy this and paste it over here and comment this okay uh, so all these steps let me introduce a new class class adder and inside this i will write these two method okay and now inside this i will write my main method and main method i will simply print adder sorry adder dot add 11 comma 11 okay uh, so here you can see i've created one two methods uh int add and double add they are return they are the return type of those two methods are different that is int and one is it returning a double okay and now if i come here and try to print this statement adder dot add 11 comma 11 it will create an ambiguity 
why so here you can see int uh, IntelliJ ID is telling me there are some error and what is what's the error add int int is already defined in adder so it creates an ambiguity for the Java it it for here you can see we are calling this add method 11 comma 11 but the return types are different one is double and one is integer but their number of the parameters they are accepting are the same and the type of the parameters they are acting accepting is are also same it creates an ambiguity for the java programming language and it can't differentiate the two methods are there of the different types okay so this creates an ambiguity and one more question is there can we overload the java main method yes by method overloading you can have the number of the main methods in the class by method overloading but the jvm calls main method which receive the string array as an argument only okay so here you can see we are passing this is the main method and jvm receive this main method and our program execution starts from this line number 38 and it accepts the arguments of type string array okay here you can see we are passing a uh, argument of type string array and let's this is how you can uh, overload the main method also in java okay so thank you for watching this video